Hello everyone, Ron here from RJJ's Reactions and back with Palais Royale. And this time around the song is called Fever Dream. So we'll have a listen to the music, see what they can do with Fever Dream, and then we'll have a look at the lyrics afterwards. Let's go with Palais Royale. Official music video, Fever Dream. Here we go. I'll go back a little bit. Uh, they're so creative, aren't they? And the videos are always so creative. And uh, I was going to say colorful, but in some sense, this one's a bit darker. But uh, it's colorful in the way that they have so much going on, almost like steampunk uh, idea. Uh, very uh, artistic anyway. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with the lyrics and the scene. At first, I thought he was some sort of prisoner or something with the striped uniform. Now it looks like a circus performer in the circus tent. Um, so I'm not really quite sure what's going on. I love Remington's voice. I've mentioned that several times before. Every time I've done a video of theirs, probably. Uh, I can't always hear it in some of the videos because the music is a bit overwhelming. But uh, you can hear it fairly well here, at least at points. I wish the music had been a little quieter when he was doing those... Uh, yells or screams because uh, that, that was excellent and I would just like to hear more of, of his voice on that. But nevertheless, this is a, an excellent video so far. Uh, let's finish it up and, and we'll have a look at the lyrics afterwards and see if I can make any sense out of it. <laughs>
gonna be alright. So close your eyes, just say a good night. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, really well done video. Uh, it's the official video, so I, I tried to find a live uh, version, but uh, and I just start them a little bit to see if I can hear the band. And unfortunately, the couple that I tried, I could hear too much of the audience and not enough of the band. So I didn't uh, watch them all the way through, but I was guessing that I wouldn't be able to hear the band well enough. So I went with the official music video. Maybe there's a good live version out there. If there is, let me know. I don't know if I'd react to the same song again, but I, I, I would be interested in listening to it for myself. And maybe if it was, you know, excellent, maybe I would. I will react to some more uh, Palais Royale. Let me know what else you'd like to hear from them. Um, Yes, the the settings that they had, the costumes, the clothing, the uh, imagination that they use in all of their videos is excellent. And of course, this one's about, well, technically about a dream, fever dream, but I think there's a lot more going on there. And there are probably multiple interpretations or possible interpretations, what they actually intended. I'm not sure I'll hit on that. I don't know, but uh, I'm going to try to interpret the lyrics in a minute. Love Remington's voice. The the music was great. I can't tell whether it would be uh, live because this isn't live, so they can do a lot in the studio, of course, but we know that they can play. We've seen some live versions and uh, yeah, the, the brothers are great and, and all, of, all of the musicians are, are really good. Let's have a look at the lyrics now. Fever Dream by Palais Royale, songwriters Chris Griatti, Liv Marisco, Emerson Crop, Remington Crop, Sebastian Crop, the brothers. Let's have a look. Close your eyes and exit life tonight. You'll be just fine. You'll be all right. It's time we start escaping. Fever Dream, the lights are fading. Don't look around at all the faces abound. Don't look behind you because we are stuck underground. Can you see the words? I'm up here trying to preach. No need to cry. You'll never find me trying to leave. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on. <coughs> Excuse me. So fever dream it could be that you're having nightmares and that can cause you to have a fever. Not, not, not a real fever, but you can wake up sweating. Could be that you're doing drugs and you're having a fever dream from the drugs. Uh, don't uh, don't look ar around at all the faces abound. We're stuck underground. So that, that, that's why I'm thinking of that a little bit. No need to cry. You'll never find me trying to leave. So either a person uh, going to stay with you or uh, could be talking about more spiritual things as well. The first line, close your eyes and exit life tonight. Does that mean die or does that just mean exit the sort of um, normal life, you know, going into a dream state? Uh, and again, that could be caused by a number of things, uh, natural or artificial, uh, and drugs could be a part of that too. But I'm not entirely sure. I see that you're in pain from your pale and lifeless face. So let go and float away. Let go, let go, let go. So again, pale and lifeless face. If it's literally lifeless, then death. But it could be pale and lifeless from, <clears throat> from drugs as well. Close your eyes and exit life tonight. You'll be just fine. You'll be all right. It's time we start escaping. Fever dream. The lights are fading. Take my hand to Neverland. You'll see we can be free. We can be anything. Just you and me, fever dream, the lights are fading. So again, I don't know, but it can be interpreted in many ways, but certainly going into dreamland is escaping from your regular or normal life. I have a lot of dreams. I have nightmares too, but uh, nightmares aren't nightmares the way they were when I was a child because now I just they just make me angry and I, I turn around to, to, to face the monster. Never see it though. But <laughs> it's like this bugger off monster. I'm tired now. I need sleep. I'm too old for this. <laughs> but I have a lot of dreams. Uh, many, many dreams. Many really excellent dreams too. Uh, but uh, not from drugs. I, but uh, you, you could certainly have that from from drugs as well. And go to Neverland. In other words, you're going to another fantasy place. Uh, something that's uh, not based in reality or fact. 
Uh, we can be free, we can be anything. Yeah, in your dreams you can be anything for sure. You can fly, I do that in my dreams. You can do all sorts of things in your dreams. I can't hear a sound, I see the world upside down. Tell me how it's fair to put a loved one underground. So there you're talking literally about death, of course. Now can you see the words, I'm up here trying to preach. No need to cry, don't say goodbye, I'll see you on the other side. So believing in life after death, a lot of people do, I don't, but um, in a sense there's your your bits your atoms or whatever go back into the universe but of course it's not really you anymore uh, but some people believe that uh, there are multiple universes or there's a heaven or hell or other things where or reincarnation so there's lots of beliefs out there uh, most not based in evidence or fact however when you're dreaming it's it's it seems real sometimes uh, and even even the very bizarre things seem real and in my dream sometimes i question because i think wait a minute this can't be real but uh but i don't always come up with the answer in the dream sometimes i do and then i wake up but other times i don't and it's only after you wake up that your conscious brain goes mm, yeah that didn't happen i see that you're in pain from your pale and lifeless face so let go and float away let go let go let go so again let go could be let go and enjoy the trip if you're on drugs <laughs> um, uh, because I, I understand that it's better to relax and, and not fight it uh, but then it could be you're actually dying as well and sometimes you need somebody to say just let go just relax let go float it's okay uh, you can you can let it happen if it's time close your eyes and exit life tonight you'll be just fine you'll be all right it's time we start escaping fever dream the lights are fading take my hand to neverland you'll see we can be free we can be anything just you and me fever dream the lights are fading no oh, there's still more i thought we were done uh, we can be anything and everything we want to be if we believe letting go of what we used to know we can be anything and everything just follow me into this fever dream, into this fever dream. So again, I think a lot of this is perhaps just going into the dream, sort of living in the dream, uh, not necessarily dying, I'm not too sure, but, uh, but definitely letting go of uh, everything we know or used to know. So the, sort of the normal mundane life perhaps. Close your eyes and exit life tonight. You'll be just fine. You'll be all right. I'm just going to skip down because some of these we've already done, maybe all of them. Letting go of what we used to know. Fall asleep and make believe with me. We're going to be all right. So close your eyes, just say good night. So you can interpret it as death, but I, I would be more inclined to say that this is... Uh, something else, so letting go of of the mundane life and entering into the dreams or nightmares. Fever dreams can can be another term for nightmares, and uh, living within that and becoming something else that you aren't in real life, and you can be whatever you want and make uh, make believe with me. So I'm going to be with you. I'm not going to leave you. Don't cry. We mentioned earlier, um, and we'll walk through this dream slash nightmare together and uh, become something different. All right, interesting. I think there's probably lots of ways this could be interpreted. I may be well off track and that's fine. You can let me know <laughs> what you think. Uh, I don't know what they, the songwriters meant originally, but often when songwriters write and, and other writers too, short story writers, poetry, uh, they they have several meanings in mind as well. They often write in that way and they don't necessarily uh, have only one interpretation even of their own lyrics. They can have multiple and then the readers or the listeners, if it's music, can have even more interpretations and I know that some of the artists are surprised normally pleasantly, maybe sometimes not so pleasantly with the interpretations that come through, but you can't help it. Once it's out in the public, the public will interpret it the way they want and the individual will interpret. So I won't necessarily interpret the same way as uh, you or someone else in my family even might have a completely different interpretation of this song. But I liked it. It, it was really good. It's well performed. They, they do amazing videos. I really like the videos. I like to go into fantasy and uh, mythology and all of that. 
it's very very interesting uh, it's it's not true uh, it's not real it's not reality but it's fun it's a it's a great deal of fun okay it's Ron from RJJ's reactions until next time bye bye for now